Hey guys, you alright? Okay, a uh, quick video. Went downtown today. Uh, top my all my PlayStation 1 games downtown. And there's a shop there and they put in two games. Uh, they buy and trade games. It's, they don't really do old stuff. The oldest they go is like Dreamcast. Uh, it's mostly like PS1, 2, Xbox, GameCube. Uh, all the usual DS, you know, the usual crap. Bit of PlayStation 2 and Xbox 360. Anyway, point is, uh, went down there. Took uh, all my games down there, and I've got a lot of crap. I've only got like literally about out of the 30 games I've got, I've got about four that are any good, so nothing special. But uh, all PS1 games, so I wasn't expecting to get a lot of money from. Um, and <laughs> the woman offered me nine quid for the lots, so I was like, nah, no way, because <laughs> that's just you know, I know it's like a way to sell them on eBay, but come on, man, nine quid for 30 games. So she says, I, I'll give you a, a 20 quid trading on anything in the shop. So I was like, well, what the hell am I going to buy for 20 quid? So I had a look around and uh, I found these. I got this one, not Ryu or Ryu. It's a Street Fighter 4 fully poseable character. Absolutely superb. And I also managed to get her to give me this as well. Ken. So instead of 20, I ended up getting 26 quid trading, which ain't bad really because I was you know, hoping I might get a pound a game to have been 37, lost to 4 quid. But I've gained two awesome Street Fighter 4 characters. Which is fantastic. I know I'm not a massive Street Fighter 4 fan, but I love Street Fighter 2 and Ryu and Ken are the two best, and Ryu is my favourite character. And they're absolutely awesome. They're 35 points of articulation, and you get two sets of hands. Don't ask me why you get two sets of hands. I'm sure somebody out there might know. I, I, I don't buy many action figures, so it's all beyond me as to why you need other hands. But but no, look, absolutely awesome. Really cool. So those two are going in my game room uh, and set them up nicely. And uh, hopefully, I'll pop them in the next video. Um, on the, another thing, my three PlayStation 1 consoles I've got, which I think I showed in my previous video, but I'm not sure. Anyway, um, I'm going to sell them. So if anybody wants them, let me know. I've got uh, an original PlayStation, the big one, which was uh, 7000 series, which is, a, I think as far as I can remember, 7000 series when they started working really well. That one's boxed. Uh, boxy is a bit tatty, but you know, it's used. None of these consoles are mint, by the way. These are just used consoles which work perfectly, all been tested. Box one. Good condition, work straight. Only thing that's missing is the flap for the parallel port on the back. Small, the small tiny PS1 I've got uh, has got a small black mark on the lid. I'm not sure what it is. I'm sure it probably come off fuse the right cleaner, but I'm not sure what it is. Uh, the box is completely knackered, by the way. It's in really bad shape. But the console, in mint condition, it works. You know, besides that black mark, it works a treat anyway. And I've got a loose, big, uh, big PlayStation, the original style again, uh, which is yeah, it's in good nick. It works a treat. Yeah, so they're all just used consoles, so they're not really collectibles, they're just for like spares where you want to play your games on them. Anyway, I'm rambling. So if you want them, uh, I'm going to flog all three for 10 quid, uh, and I'll charge you a tenner for delivery because I'll send recorded delivery raw mail. That way it gets tracked and traced and it's, you know, it's all secure because I don't trust the raw mail that much. So 20 quid, all in. If you want, anyone wants all three consoles, just give me a shout, drop me a PM or something, and we can sort something out and I'll send them off to you. Okay, that's it then. It's just a short one, but I just want to show you my cool little figures. Right, bye for now.